Let's go. Don't play the halfback. Rory Hutchinson, part of that Saints defence. Would burn. No, don't go again. Let go. Well, these are a big questioning carries from Exeter, but equally decisive defence for the time being, but maybe under the radar. Co's waiting. He's merely providing the gap for the try to be scored by Ruben van Heerden. No Coles, no Laws, no Ludlam, Augustus, all of them missing from Saints back row tonight, or potential back rowers. A lot of timber missing. Yes, yeah, certainly is. What's so important is the energy now given in kick chase. Skozen offers it, just needs that clear contact. Exeter have only got two at the back of the pitch. And Josh Hodge up until that point did really well in transition. Well, he's, uh, he's back on his feet a little bit gingerly. He might need looking at Hodge, whether he um, banged his head on the way down. But he's doing what he can to get back in this defensive line. Saints have a penalty. Taken quickly by Freeman. Sharpest mind on the pitch. He has been one of Saints' more impressive operators. Neither side far away as uh, Mike Haywood uh, demonstrates in the ball to James and very quickly Northampton finding some room right through the middle of that extra defence and then that's lost by Hinckley. Finn Smith with the penalty. Saints stretch the lead, 13 points to seven. Inard pops out. And uh, Inard and Chiefs picked out. Does look a very composed young player, doesn't he, Finn Smith? Every time you see him. Mitchell. So we're looking for the point of contact here. It's head on cheek, isn't it? So, so there's no clear, no clear foul play by 16. So we stay at yellow card. Agreed. Se is it seven what? greens? Is it? Why is that yes. not a red? I think he's hugely lucky. I, I, I do yellow. think it's lucky. Nick David last week got a red card. Very, very similar situation to go three week bad. Van Heerden with that, with the link. Saints again defending very hard around the edges. Maunder rolls it backwards. Hepburn, strong, one more roll and he might have got there. Wasn't allowed that roll. Instead, John fires it wide and Chiefs go over. Stood on the line again to the outside with Simmons. This is... Um, Alex Waller nearing 250 games now for the Saints. Beyond Smith, oh, and Dingwall charge down, and no one's going to stop Simmons. Long run, worth it. And Joe Simmons, with a couple of tries in a couple of minutes, has turned this contest on its head. Joe Simmons now 14 of uh, Exeter's 19 points. They lead 19-6. Yeah, great control and acceleration. What I like about it, it is a tough night conditions. The protection of the ball as he goes over the dry line. Captain, well, not captain tonight, but playing a very pivotal position as underlined once again. Northampton, real issues when they go down to 14. Oh, and now John's charged down and Freeman looking to profit. And Saints setting up camp on Exeter's try line and winning the penalty. Tail of a couple of charge downs. Fourteen minutes to go. Nineteen points each. Time to get the throw, the lift, the leap right, which they do. Alex Moon. Haywood has it. Mitchell just 
shepherding him up the stairs, allowing Sam Graham to, to come in and throw his weight around as well. Still Graham and still that Saints pack. Freeman looks interesting. Mitchell to Freeman! Who was right to be interested? It's brilliant positioning from Freeman. And Mitchell doing a really good job of holding both Hepburn and Maunder, getting out to Maunder's channel, so he has to bite in on him. Second try for, for Tommy Freeman. I like the way that Alex Mitchell didn't panic either. He gave the forwards all the time they needed to set that situation up. He knew what was going on. Well, he's not, he's not missed one yet. That's a dozen kicks now for Northampton. Not all of them easy, a lot of them like that. And he's nailed every single one. 